Okay, chapter one, problem number three, directions say perform an indicated operation. Uh, in this case, that's multiplication. Okay, uh, what operations are we talking about? Adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. You do each of those in this chapter. Uh, for this problem, again, it's multiplication. Okay, so multiply fractions. What I don't need to multiply fractions is a common denominator. Don't need a common denominator. Uh, what I generally do is multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators to get my final answer. Uh, however, if I can simplify these, I want to simplify them. That is, if I can find a common factor between 4 and any of the denominators, then I can simplify. A common factor between 21 and any of the denominators, I can simplify. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do first. I can see that 4 and 20 have a common factor. The common factor is 4. So I can divide them each by 4 to reduce. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So I cross it out and put a 1 up there. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. Okay, so we've done some reduction there. Same thing between the 7 and the 21. I can see that 7 will go into both of those numbers. 7 into 7 one time, into 21 three times. That's going to make my problem a lot easier now to reduce it before I do the multiplication. Okay, I just want to make note that this first fraction is negative. The second fraction is positive. When I multiply a negative and a positive, I always get a negative as a result. So I can start there. I know my answer will be negative. And now I can just multiply the numerators. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 5 is 5. And I always want to check that just to make sure I miss some reduction. See if 3 fifths will reduce any further. And I know there's no common factor between those two. So that's my final answer. Okay. Now, keep working, do the rest of your homework. Remember, you've got to do your homework if you're going to pass this course.